sunset scenario iPhone 15 Pro Max uh, front-facing camera 4k 60 frames per second against the uh, Xiaomi 13 Ultra that I have here where you can see we have autofocus on the front-facing camera which is quite nice as usual we don't have any stabilization during recording it is uh, doing this in post probably at least it's very, very wobbly on the screen itself but probably very very stable when you take the shot and yeah we have the possibility to record here 4k 60 frames per second which is quite good on the iphone 15 pro max now the xiaomi 13 ultra we don't have 4k 60 frames per second but we have at least 1080p 60 frames per second that you can get here with this one here i think it's a little bit wider this uh, kind of lens but mm, sadly no autofocus so if i hold it here you would see it was not focusing how stabilization how colors here on the xiaomi 13 ultra at least i see i'm stabilized which is quite nice here uh, directly during the recording scenario iphone 15 pro max main camera system 4k 60 frames per second i think very natural colors i think they really nailed it also in terms of sharpness and so on it's good the only thing that i don't like with the iphone is maybe a little bit too much contrast that they added here so my uh, hair color looks a bit wrong there not so much hair anymore but still uh, so what do you think about the iphone 15 pro max main camera sensor about the bokeh stabilization hdr and the sun like uh, setting right now there and we can also switch to the ultra wide angle of course there's a button for this and now we are at the ultra wide angle also 4k 60 frames per second which is quite nice and what do you think about the stabilization colors and so on here and then we want to try out a zoom so let's zoom on something like there we go to two times zoom and then switch to the five times zoom lens and then we go slowly to the 15 times zoom the maximum zoom what do you think now same situation same place the xiaomi 13 ultra recording with the one inch type sensor but i'm using a little trick here i'm a little cheating because i'm not using the normal video mode because if i show you the normal video mode this is how my face would look like and the colors will look like way too yellow way too punchy and this is why i'm using the pro mode here for video which is working much much nicer 40 60 frames per second we can record with this sensor but sadly even though we get a zoom slider we cannot switch at 4k 60 between the lenses neither in the video pro mode or the normal video mode so that's a little bit of a bummer what do you think about the sunset behind me sun is really setting there as you can see maybe um yeah i think it is quite nice so i have to stop recording now to get to the ultra wide angle there we get the ultra wide angle so what do you think about this one can also record 4k 60 but sadly we cannot switch which is a little bit bit of a bummer i would say so what do you think about this one here stabilization hdr colors and so on also video pro mode because i get the more natural colors with the video pro mode than uh, the normal video mode which is over punching the colors so much so that i thought it might be yeah, good to compare them this way i will do a full comparison as well video comparison and uh, photo comparison it will be a long video again and there we'll use also the normal video mode and at the end i figured out that i can also use the video pro mode but i thought for this comparison here for this short little 4k 60 frames per second video i stick to the video pro mode so the best quality that i can get out of this camera system with the native camera application now let's test the zoom we have here 3.2 times zoom on the xiaomi 13 ultra of course i can zoom in a little bit but it's just to crop in of this 3.2 times zoom i can go to 9.6 times which is um yeah. so this is now the 5x zoom and if i go to roughly the 10 times you will see that is much more crispier there we go and i can go also up to 15 times and you will also see that at least on screen it looks and appears to me a little bit better than the iphone at 4k 60 but what do you think i'm also recording here again in the video pro mode here we have the video comparison. On the left, obviously, the iPhone 15 Pro Max. On the right, the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. Maximum zoom 15 times. And what you can see here is a bit more contrasty look on the iPhone 15 Pro Max for sure. Less contrasty look on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. And a bit more yellowish kind of exposure on the uh, iPhone 15 Pro Max. You can see here in terms of noise and so on, iPhone 15 Pro Max pretty much on par with the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. Not much of a difference, but I think the iPhone wins here in terms of zoom just because of the added contrast and yeah, the bit of more yellowish image here that gives you, perceives like, you perceive it as a bit more detail there. And when we check out the main camera sensor now, let's go and go out of here and do this. Now, same situation. Do this, oops. There we go. 
What we can see is a bit more yellow kind of exposure on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, where the Xiaomi 13 Ultra has a bit more natural skin tone there for sure. And if I go in a little bit further, you can see that yes, the skin 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 tone tone keeps to be a bit warmer on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, or the Xiaomi 13 Ultra keeps it a little more real there all over the video. This is thanks to the video pro mode that has a bit more real colors. Otherwise the colors are pretty much the same but a little bit more tuned down, not so yellow on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. Let's go to the ultra wide angle and let's compare the ultra wide angle. We get the ultra wide angle so each other. And uh, here we can see that the ultra wide angle on the iPhone 15 Pro Max handles HDR much better than the Xiaomi 13 Ultra that has this overexposure. We have this more yellow kind of face again on the iPhone 15 Pro Max where the Xiaomi keeps it more real, which is quite interesting. But the iPhone, when we go into 100% view, you can see how yeah, it's getting softer towards the edges, but the center is sharp. Where the Xiaomi 13 Ultra is quite soft in the center and towards the edges there. So this is, I think, an issue there for sure. And then last but not least, we want to check out the uh, selfies. And here was a bit surprised that the stabilization on the iPhone was really a bit worse than on the uh, Xiaomi. Nice freeze frame, by the way. But and again, you can see much more yellowish kind of face on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And here we don't even see the sun on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra, even though it was there. Let's go a bit further and a bit more contrasty look on the iPhone for sure. But the iPhone, like you can see, struggles a little bit with the light there. The Xiaomi 13 Ultra handles that a little bit better. Also, the colors are more, more natural, as you can see here, much darker, not so yellowish kind of green, but full HD only, so it's very soft there. And this is uh, yeah, also pretty soft for some reason, even though it's 4K on the iPhone, but it has autofocus, so it struggles a little bit in this dim lit situation. But overall, I would say I give the win for the selfie, definitely the iPhone 15 Pro Max. What do you think?